Is the Zoom G1X4 worth the extra money over the G1 4? It costs about $50 more in most countries. And the first impression that you've probably already made is correct. It's really all about the expression pedal. There's no doubt that that is a massive advantage and it immediately provides you with extra effects that you won't get in the Zoom G1 for standard edition. You might see the same effects in a kind of an automated form like an auto wah or slow attack to control your volume, but to get real control you need this dynamic pedal right here. But some of you who have a bit of experience with Zoom and with small multi-effects units generally will think, well why can't I just attach an expression pedal. Well, the reason you can't attach an expression pedal is because there's no socket for one at the back. There is literally no way to do it. You could add wah by having an external wah pedal, no problem with that, and the same with a volume pedal, or literally any other pedal that's available for guitar. But if you were looking at relying on this one for all your effects and just adding an expression pedal to give you the capabilities of the G1X4, you'll be disappointed. It can't be done. Other than that, they are basically the same. In purely sonic terms, you're going to get great action out of both of them. Like I said though, there are those extra wah effects, or expression pedal effects I should say here. Wah is just one of them. I did notice that there are only about five effects that relate to the expression pedal. It can control a few other parameters in some of the modulation effects, but its effectiveness might not be quite as far reaching as you expected. Consider also the additional size it adds to the pedal. If you do want to add this to a larger pedal board, or if even in the future you're thinking I might expand my collection of pedals, this is going to serve you quite a lot better because of the shape and overall design which matches general pedals and pedal board setups a little bit more nicely than having this pedal fixed here on the side where it can't be moved or changed. So if you end up with a collection of five or six pedals, this shape is going to limit the way you can use things. Also, this expression pedal isn't going to be able to interact with the other pedals. You won't be able to route it in like that. It's only going to apply to whatever's in here. With this one, you're undoubtedly going to end up using some kind of other wah pedal or volume pedal, and that can be routed through your pedal setup in ways that are a little bit more creative. I do know that most people are going to buy these probably as a first pedal and for quite a long duration that's going to be their entire setup. That's fine. But there are some of you who will be thinking, yeah, I've already got an overdrive pedal that I really like and I've got a wah pedal that's great too and I'm going to try looping them into this in various different ways. If you are one of those few people, I suggest you save your money and get the G1 4. If you're starting out, or you just like the convenience of an all-in-one, or you just don't have any massive aspirations and you just like playing at home, then there's no disputing that the G1X4 is a unilateral solution. Having tried both of them out quite thoroughly though, I really thought that it was worth making this very short video just to illustrate this very important difference between the two, being the expression pedal, and also to talk about the implications of having that there. Like I said, if you buy the G1X4, you're going to pay about $50 more, and you're going to get the expression pedal. Remember though, you're stuck with the expression pedal, and that's going to impinge on your expandability down the track, not so with the G1 4. I've got to say though, I was disappointed that you couldn't just go ahead and connect your Roland EV7 expression pedal or a Yamaha FP series expression or whatever. Zoom has given us that feature on many of its older models, but for some reason they've decided to remove it on this one. I guess maybe they were thinking about those people who wanted to add more pedals and work it into what could perhaps be described as a more pro kind of setup. And there are plenty of effects inside these that pros would be pretty happy with. One last thing I'll mention, and this isn't a complaint, it's just something to consider again about the G1X4, and that is, as you may have already read or you may already know, you can have up to five effects in a row. If you're including the expression pedal, that's going to be one of your effect spaces, okay? So it's not an extra thing on its own. If I start editing here, you'll see that the expression pedal doesn't appear. It can be a volume pedal on its own, but if you want wah in there, then one of these has to go. And that can be a problem if you've set up a patch like this and you want to play your solo adding wah, you're going to lose one of those effects. And as part of a larger stage performance or stage sound, people might notice that your noise reduction has suddenly disappeared or your cabinet simulation has suddenly disappeared or you're not getting echo anymore. That really is an issue that you have to consider. Like I said, I know it might sound like I'm nitpicking a little bit, but really this could run you into a pretty major problem 
if you've got to the point where you're going to do a performance and things need to flow, as you get more experience with guitar playing and effects, of course, you will get more fussy about your sound. And the flow of a performance can affect your mood just as much as the kind of distortion pedal you're using or the sweetness of the cabinet simulation. It is something to consider. So the expression pedal gives you a bit more sound versatility, but it also takes away a bit of versatility. The G14, of course, doesn't have the benefit of so much expressiveness, but you can add that externally if you're clever, and you will never run into that problem of having your five effects set up and having to cast one off in order to add your wah sound, because that'll be external. Anyway, Gear Facts friends, if you're in the market for one of these, I hope I haven't made your choice more difficult. It's 2019 and these are a pretty new release from Zoom, but they're about to become very widespread and I'm sure a great deal will be said about them on the net from buyers who want to talk about what they're pleased with and what they're not so pleased with. And if you're thinking, well hang on, where's the sound? When do we get to hear this thing? I'll add some snippets from my previous demos of these ones at the end of this video. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking, commenting or subscribing. <laughs>